Are you like this analytics and you feel stopped or overwhelmed? Trust me, I've been there. Late analytics can be so challenging, especially when it feels like there is so much to take in. Don't worry, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this journey easier for you, how you can learn the analysis in a very easy way and effective way. All right, let's get started. Why is learning analytics so difficult? Well, one of the reasons it feels like it's difficult is because there are so many tools out there to learn and starting out to be confused. Which one should I learn? Which one should I focus on? Which tool do I need to know? And then if you so overwhelmed, the thing that you need to know all the tools all at once. So you don't need to. That's the second reason why it feels so difficult is because you think you need to learn all the tools at once. But just like every other skill, data analytics is a skill you need to learn step by step. So you can take it step by step to make it easier for you. The next thing you need to do to make your learning process easier is to simplify your approach. So in learning data analysis, there is a way you should approach it, right? And here's how to do it. Here's how you should approach learning data analytics. So start with the basics, right? Start with the basics. This is the approach you should go with when learning data analysis. Start with the basics. Don't start learning with Python. Some person, when they start want to learn data analysis, they move ahead. They start learning with Python. They start learning with SQL. If you start learning with those advanced tools, it's going to feel overwhelming. It's going to feel very difficult for you, right? Because most persons, just like me, when I ventured into data analysis, I was not into tech. I had no idea what tech was all about. I didn't even know how to use a computer that much. Right, so I was basically new. So imagine me in that state, learning Python on SQL. I would just be so overwhelmed that I would just give up. So that's why you should start with the basics. Start with Excel. Excel that is easy people to understand. So start with Excel. It's easier to understand, right? Is easier than Python and SQL. So that's why in my classes, I usually start with Excel because I know Excel is much easier to understand. So when you grow with Excel, you can move up to Power BI, then you can go on to SQL and then Python. Do you understand? So you don't need to learn all those tools at once. Just choose one. Choose the basic first. Start with Excel. Then after Excel, you can move on to the rest. Then focus on the key techniques, right? In learning as well, focus on the key techniques. You don't need to, there's so many things to learn, guys. There's so many things to learn that you cannot just learn at first. You just need to get the basics, get the basics of all the tools. Then you can build from there. So in, in Excel, you can focus on learning how to clean data in Excel. I made a video on how to clean data in Excel. You, I could link the, I'll put the link up there so you can go watch it if you're interested. So learn how to clean data in Excel, learn how to, you know, do formatting in Excel, you know, remove duplicates, you know, change the cases, you know, know learn how to use the Python charts. You know how to use the Python charts in Excel. So learn these basics, learn the basic formulas in Excel. I have videos of all that. I'm also going to link Put the link up text so you can watch it if you're interested. So learn these basics, right? Then from there you can build. So when you know these basic, you've you familiarized yourself with these basics, then you can go ahead, can go deeper. So what people do is that they just want to know every single thing. They want to know everything from the basic to the advanced to the internet all at once. It doesn't work that way. Start off with the basics, right? So you don't get scared of. Just start off with the basics, get to familiarize yourself with that biggest, know the basics, work on it, do projects on it. Just be sure that you know it before you can move into another step. So when you're doing stuff the things this way, it won't be so overwhelming. You know that you are learning in your own pace, right? You will not be so, you know, intimidated by others, the huge thing they can do. Like the huge things you can do in Excel, trust me, you can feel it with it and what others are doing, but you don't need to focus on that. You need to give yourself, yourself time. I need to work with your own pace, okay? So start with the basics and it will make the work easier for you. But the next thing to do to make your learning process is is use a real world data set. So when you are working with a working on a project, make sure that the data set you are using is something that you can relate to something you are interested in, something that you like, right? So you're working on a project. If you are interested in sports, 
You can use a sports data if you are interested in sales. You can use a sales data if you are interested in health. You can use a health data. So use something that you are interested in, something that fascinates you, right? Use something like that. Use a data set like that to work on projects. It will encourage you. You will tell you, like, enjoy it while you do it because it's something that you are interested in. So don't go and bring maybe HR data set. You don't even know what, what HR is. I'm speaking from my own perspective then i said i didn't even know what all that was all about and it might seem boring to you like what's all this and it's just it will feel so hectic for you so that's why i advise you just to what get a project get a data set that you are interested in that you like right that fascinates you okay Next thing to do to make your learning process easier is overcoming some struggles. So I'm going to describe some struggles that you may meet on your way and how to overcome them. So the first thing is understanding your data. So you are working on a project or you are, you're in a class and, okay, maybe say, let me say after your classes, you want to practice on your own and you are just lost, you don't know what you want to do or you're working on a project, you don't even know where to start. What you should do first is understand your data. You need to ask some questions to help you understand the data set you are working with, right? And not just these skills, these things is not even what you should just use now that you're starting. Even when you, you, are, you are familiarized yourself with the skills, with the tools, you should always use this. Understand your data. How do you understand your data? So that's all questions that you ask to understand it. So let's say you can ask questions like, what is this data all about? What decision do I have to make? Simplifying the goal just makes the work easier. When you understand what the data is all about and what you want to use the data for, one decision that needs to be made from the data, it will help you, right? It will help you know what you are doing, okay? I hope you are learning a lot. So please, if you are still watching to this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. So the next styling that you can meet on the way is making a mistake. So next time you're working on a project and you made a mistake, you can be worried like, oh my God, and maybe you're almost at the end of this and you find that you made a mistake or you're just lost. Please don't need to be overwhelmed, right? If you need to rest, just rest, then like continue later, okay? Or you can just relax, go back, we do it. So you're just learning. You have to be patient with yourself. You should expect that you make mistakes to your analysis. You should expect that you might not notice some data cleaning process you needed to take. So you can always go back and do them. Okay, don't be so harsh on yourself. Just have patience. Go back when you make a mistake and take care of it. Another thing that people struggle with is choosing the right tools. So one of the challenges you meet is choosing the right tools, choosing the right tools. So whenever you're working on a project, your advice you choose a tool that you're comfortable with. Choose a tool that you know very well, unless you're trying to know another tool. So choose a tool that you're comfortable with, that you okay with, that you know well, that you enjoy working with. For now, right? Unless I repeat again, Unless you are trying to learn a new tool, because sometimes you are leggage to and you are doing a project on it, it can be a struggle, but you keep on it because you know you are trying to learn it. But if not, just keep on it. Keep using a tool that you are comfortable with. Please, so you don't stress yourself. In my when I started learning analytics, I was more comfortable with Power BI. Excel gave me a headache. I don't know. I was just stressed out about Excel. It was just very confusing for me. But Power BI was much easier. So at that point, I usually use Power BI when I want to work on a project. I usually use Power BI. But at some point, I, I got to start, I started understanding more about Excel. And now I love Excel. No, that like power via you know, but I just I'm okay with it until now. So as you are starting, just focus on it too. You're okay with okay? Focus on it. If it's Excel, if it's Power BI, if it's SQL, whatever cube that you like, just use it for your project for the main time. Lastly, we are going to talk about strategies to learn faster. How can you learn it analytics faster? So the first thing to do is to pay for a course, or you can learn on YouTube or any free class so i advise people to pay for a course if you can i advise you to pay for a course pay for pay to someone to teach you because it makes the work very easy it just makes it a lot easier 
someone is guiding you step by step things you need to learn it just makes it easier than you your your own lost and thing you're going through youtube but yeah there are youtube pages there are youtube channels that will help you a lot like alice and alice and so some other youtube um channel they will help you right they have good cams like you can you know learn from the beginning to the end in that volume you want to find but if you can't afford the course at the beginning no problem you can use youtube but when you can afford the course please pay for a course apart from youtube pay for a course will give you a broader view of what the analytics is all about right it will also help you prepare you to work in an organization which youtube videos don't usually do youtube videos just give you tutorials they just give you you know on how to work on projects don't tell you you know how to work on a real life project they don't tell you how the work environment is at the data analyst. They don't tell you what it means to be a data analyst, what it means to think like a data analyst. So there's a broad view of it you will get when you pay someone to teach you or a school, a tech school or someone to teach you. But if you can afford a course for now, then you can start with YouTube then. As time goes on, when you can, then pay for your course. It will make your learning process easy. So let's say you are learning on YouTube. Please get a curriculum, right? Write down, get a curriculum that will show you the things you need to learn. So I have a curriculum that I use to teach my students. And I'm willing to give it for free. So if you are interested, join my WhatsApp community and chat me up. Send me a DM and I will give you my free curriculum where you see the tools and you see the things that you need to learn so you can follow that curriculum and you know do yourself learn and you are good to go okay all right so the next thing is to do or join a community i already mentioned that find a data analytics community and join either on facebook either on instagram either on linkedin your whatsapp mostly whatsapp find a community data analytics community to join it to fast track your growth it to fast track your growth especially a learning data analytics community communities for learners which i have i have a data i have a whatsapp community for learners in my community you can ask questions let's say you are working on something and you are lost you can ask questions and it's be answered you know we can just put, help you especially if you are self-learning and you don't have anyone to guide you this community will help guide you in your journey on becoming a data analyst so guys this is the end of today's video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i post videos every week so click on the notification bell so even it's fine when i post my new video don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave see you next time bye